everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be showcasing Ayani Okada's um, build guide and also strategy for you guys. So let's start off with um, her skills first. So we have a couple of skills here. Here's her basic attack. So fantasy, battle at fingertips, range, one slot, attacks and enemies start from the first enemy in the same line. Attack speed is going to be intermediate. Uh, upgrade effect, by the way, is level 2. If the target is frosted, deals extra damage. So take note of that. Level 3 boosts the damage from basic attacks by 25% for level 3. Okay, we're moving on to her ultimate, of course. So infinite gaming dream. So after unleashing the ultimate, deals damage to a random surrounding enemy every point five seconds for three seconds so total of six attacks and has a 70 percent chance of freezing the target for 0 0.9 seconds so aside from damage there's also a freeze of 70 percent the chance will be adjusted by the figure's accuracy bonus we'll get to that later once we discuss her parts Energy regeneration is going to be at 6 per second. Okay, upgrade effect for the skill is uh, for ultimate is going to be level 2. If the target is frosted, boosts damage by 25% and freezes it for an additional 1.5 seconds. So this is going to be playing a little bit uh, bigger once you are, you know, once you have upgraded. Um, her ultimate to level 2. At level 3, every time the ultimate hits a controlled enemy, gains a she extra shield and boosts defense by 8% for 5 seconds. This actually applies to her. And um, I'm not sure what they mean by a controlled enemy, but I assume that when the enemy is frosted, level 3... Um, is triggered so that is my assumption okay so for those who don't, are not um, you know are, so here it is um, for those who are not aware of frost so frost um, the target is uh, to lose health every second this ignores defense when the frosted um, targets attack speed will be re reduced by 15% some figures attacks against the enemy attacks the enemies that are frosted deal extra frost damage to them so control including as I've said frozen Stun, knockback, and lock. So she already has frozen. So basically, level three triggers already. Next is going to be her passive. Her ultimate, by the way, is centered around frost. Frost effects and additional damage and additional frost. While her passive will be centering around her shield ability. So it's called Sparkling Crystal Light. Gains uh, a strong shield when any of your figurines' health drops 50% for the first time. Not sure how strong this is, but apparently it's strong. They don't, they don't mention how strong this one is. The upgrade effect is for level 2, restores 10 energy when Ayane grants a shield to her allies. So, restores energy to Ayane, probably her allies. So level 3 gains a shield for herself and an ally with the least health after Ayane unleashes her ultimate. So shield for herself, shield for, for the least health ally in her group. So that is her passive for her special ability. It's Ice and Snow Story. It has a 25% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% when attack. Level 2 is boost attack by 5% and defense by 10%. Okay, level 3 has a 35% chance of reducing damage taken by 50% when attacked. Okay, nice add-ons to her kit. Okay, guys, for her strengths and her weakness. So, she is going to be having good attack and health and defense as well. Probably her weakness, if I may see, uh, this one is going to be her attack. She doesn't need it. She is more or less a defender and also a support for your team. Okay, so moving on to her parts. So for her parts, recommended parts uh, for me, I think would be a defensive set and also a heal set. So for heal set, um, I, I'm actually suggesting this one because the shield effect is going to get 
a lot of benefits from this one. So we have three. My assumption that this one stacks. Okay, so we have 12 here. So this one, she has another 12. So this one is a health set is going to be two out of two. So there are three um, sets of two. So more or less, the bonus will become plus 36%. That is how I'm seeing this. I'm not sure if um, you guys um, can confirm that these effects don't stack, but I think the, these stacks because health stacks, defense stacks as well. So more or less, I would recommend heal set because this will be a game changer because she gives a shield to um, all of her allies. And um, for her um, badge, let's go to her badge, guys. Her badge is going to be Eternal Midsummer Badge. This is the one that I'm recommending. Um, boost Accuracy Bonus by 12.5%. This plays uh, out because of her... Um, what do you call this? The duration of her f for Frost or, being, or Freezes, her enemies, will play out depending on her accuracy. So she needs a lot of Accuracy Bonus. So this is most likely the um, the what do you call this the um, the badge that i'm recommending hands down um another one that i think that uh, you would want to consider there's another badge here for accuracy that i am recommending so if you don't have eternal midsummer badge you may also use the end time ambition badge so boost accuracy bonus by 20 percent and effectively increases trigger and control chance Okay, so these two, I am really recommending either of them. So what I'm talking about is this skill, her ultimate. So, so as you can see here, deals, oops, deals damage to a random uh, surrounding enemy every 0 0.05 seconds for three seconds, a 70% chance to freeze the target for 0 0.9 seconds. The chance will be adjusted. Um, so the freeze chance will be adjusted not not the duration but the freeze chance okay will be increased when you increase her accuracy okay so not the duration again it's going to be um the chance to freeze so from 70 percent it might increase to probably 80 90 depending on your accuracy bonus that you're going to put on her okay so as for team composition let's go to obviously Galatea will be benefiting from you know her presence because she will definitely take over Yuki's job as defender. So she could be a tank, and um, she can be you know used in you know in a frozen team. Definitely, she's going to be valuable in a frozen team. She's definitely an all-around tank. Um, you don't have to really, you know, um, think about where to put her. You can put her basically in any team. And uh, one of the things that I think she could tag team with is with Zhong Liang. So both of them in one team, there's a lot of shields going on. Um, and more or less, you could benefit from their tag team in some content that we are playing. So segue to content. More or less, uh, you know, I would suggest you bring Zhong Liang in her. Shields are very good in terms of survivability. You definitely will be bringing her in terms of content in the big three. She's going to be a big help in clearing your big three. Then PvP, um, if you currently don't have Megan and Crusus and you're starting the game, for beginners, I would suggest you get her instead because there's a higher probability that you get her you can get more copies of her in her current banner and um actually uh, i'm gonna be doing another team composition where i would be putting three defenders in one team so this is actually what i've been waiting for three defenders in one team uh could be a good combination in terms of clearing multiple stages in any content so that is it guys so basically her addition to um her addition to this game is really really good um she bolsters galatea she bolsters a lot of team compositions as well and i'm um, gonna leave you with my final thoughts so she's a tremendous defender 
Um, I think she supports her team mostly versus Crusus and Megan. She's a very good. She has very good support um, skills, passive, and also her ultimate. And also she can again. You can have a shield team now with Zhong Liang. And her um, Aoi, I think, would be out of the picture. But I think Zuliang and uh, Ayane would be perfect for a shield team. Okay, guys. So those are my final thoughts for her. So hopefully you have you know gotten some tips from this video. And I would appreciate it, guys, if you would subscribe to my channel. Because a lot of help comes from my subscribers. And thank you, guys. Put your comments below. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.